Chinese anger over an empty chair. Not so much the furniture, but the man who was supposed to be sat in it receiving the Nobel Peace Prize. Lu Bo, honoured for what the committee described as his long and non-violent struggle for fundamental rights in China. That committee's chairman, Theo Bjorn Jagland, explaining why he'll not be handing over the prize. We regret that the laureate is not present. He is in isolation in a prison in northeast China. Nor can the laureate's wife, Liu Xia, or his closest relatives be with us. No medal or diploma will therefore be presented here today. A standing ovation for the guest who could make it, raising hackles in Beijing. China accusing the world again of meddling in its affairs, the ceremony censored in the world's most populous nation. Beijing suspending trade talks with Norway in retaliation and pressuring other nations to stay away from the ceremony. But the guests turned up anyway, among them the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives, Nancy Pelosi. This will do more uh, to call attention to not only you, but all of the other pers political prison prisoners, not only in China, but throughout the world. Adding a touch of Hollywood glamour actress Anne Hathaway, who was hosting a Peace Prize concert in Oslo. Why is human rights important? Well, I think um, the laureate said it best when he said that... Um, all freedom begins with human rights, and human rights is not something that can be handed to you from a state. It's something uh, inferred upon you just by being alive, just by being born. And uh, the Nobel uh, Committee does right by reminding us of that. It's the first time a laureate's not been formally represented since Nazi Germany barred pacifist Karl von Ossietzky from attending in 1935, a worrying parallel that the authorities in China could well do without.